This has been a bread and butter map for the Furious side. And this pistol round well and truly underway. Gratis oh. faction getting aggressive out of the gate. Finds that advantage for the 100 Thieves. As they now sit in a five on four. But of course, K Serato is inside of the A site. So immediately that advantage is snatched back. Grat left fighting, but Vinny wrapping him through the site. And Grat hung out to dry, all alone inside of A. Liaz, Azza, and Jacob left alive in this three on four. Having to try and retake a fallen bomb site. Furia, plenty of time to get set up here. K Serato, while he might be low, the rest of the gang certainly aren't. And so he could get fed to the wolves here, but it still leaves a three on three open to Furia. And that's assuming they deal with him. They're trying to go toe to toe with R, but he's gotten away with a lot of damage here and then follows up onto Azza. Liaz will deal with one, moving in through the heaven, but time is running out and 100 Thieves are already backing away. It is going to be Furia after falling a man down, taking that pistol and going 1 0 up. Fury actually out in the A site. Not much Thieves can do about that. They have no info towards the vent side. Azza aggresses, and that's a great opener. There's an AK at his feet as well. He grabs it and gets out. Grat spams the smoke. And actually, this one's coming costly for Fury. Azza with the AK doing more and more. But Jacob traded, and through the door, Grat finds a trade. Henny now at a one on three, and he's only got a shotgun to his name. Grabs an AK, but surely someone can trade this kill. JKS is there, and Liaz with a wrap round. It's 100 Thieves finding the force. And everyone leaves the site. They are all wrapping ramp to try and take heaven, which is where this bomb is planted for. This is uh, an interesting round, Ooh. and Jacob realizes it a little too late. Now, while Grat is here, he shouldn't be ready for just how many players are going heaven oh, side. He's boy. dropped down, and now they realize JKS turning back, but there's another man, and R gets the better of him. They're on the defuse, Liaz sticking it, and he does get away with it. 100 wow. Thieves just about lock that round in. That is a big brain idea from Furia. Yeah. Thieves know about the possibility with Liaz having dropped ramp and Grat has filled that void, but Art is coming back up into the A site. Where Az is keeping an eye on things, timing is good, but Art does get out and there's another player swung to his left. JKS has left the hut and so two players on this A site. Surely Art can't clear this, he does. Vinny helps him out, but he dies in the process, leaving Art in the clutch. Surely too much. Art falling eventually and it's the Thieves five and one. Yeah, these buys for Fury, even when they have come through, they've had weaknesses. They've not had the AWP and the util's been lacking. Vinny cleared outside. Grat confident. He had a great game yesterday. And Jacob gonna deal with Art who dropped Ben early. This is just beautiful for the Thieves right now. Furia, probably Furious, it's a two on four. They do get a pick back outside, but Jacob's coming from B and he's hit a good timing. Yuri caught with nades out. They do have HEs to throw back his way, but Jacob darts into the safety of the B-bomb site and Furia double back. That's kind of what's left us in this weird predicament. Ooh. Oh, no! The timing, and he's not ready for another one as well. Swap into the smoke. And putting up a really good showing with it. This time, he's taken this little gimmicky spot up here on top of Garage, and he's going to put it to great use. Art also comes outside, and Grat's still Ooh. here. Grat is faction, putting on one hell of a show. He wants this one to be one to remember for the 100 Thieves. And that's exactly what this round is for Grat, at least four in it to put seven on the board. Some people said that this is going to be a quick 3-0 for Furia, and right now the pace is not alluding to that, I can assure you. As with an eye on the vent, starts to spam there through the squeaky door, but they're already out. They flooded out right quick. Ooh. Oh, JKS dropping in, but getting surrounded. Grat still putting bodies in bags and now finds himself over here in May. That nade is brutal. Vinny tagged by it and there's a follow-up. Vinny out of ammo and they're all over him. Liaz from the heavens. Nine on the board for the 100 Thieves. Yeah, they throw that little one-way smoke, right? That's a helping hand. Grat's faction, the man to open this round up. He is having an absolutely unreal game. The flash throwing in from CT. Ooh. And it is just a slaughter in the sight. Henny left up alone. They know where he is. They're already on the bomb. This is a 100 Thieves round locked in. And something that's so wild right now is the best game the Grat's faction has had this year. Let the numbers speak Ooh. for themselves for Grat, 24 and three. Now they're going to press Liaz at ramp, and they're just actually going to line up for him. He's only able to take down one, but Jacob on the case, Ooh. and Caserato with three. 
Not as fluid here for the 100 Thieves. Yeah, they even had the read there. They put three ramp in that round. They're ready for the fast play, but now Fury are going to complicate things as they like to do. The P90 was in this round. It got ruined pretty fast. Art with a late vent drop denied, and they were doubling back into A, but now they're just going to commit into the two players who are waiting. Henny with one kill. He's got to triple that right now to win this round, get Furia back on this T side. They're going to get swung, double door open, and the Thieves don't wait around. They don't let you do what you want. He's had money oh. all game. He's 26 <laughs> and 3. To be fair, I think he's just waiting to die yeah. until he buys one. And he's like, well, <laughs> haven't died since the fourth round. So what can you do? Look at this. Grat Ooh, finally, finally gets shut down. They finally deal with Grat's faction. Is that going to be enough for Fury? They're a man up. Oh. They run by Jacob. He's given up his position. They know he's here. And he's just a dead man walking. It's a question of when, not if. And this might be one more round for Fury at the end of the half. A five on two. Azza and Liaz left up against it. Fury are very, very split up, but they send that bomb down towards B on the back of Henny. Okay, Serato holding for the push, but Azza does get the better of him. Now left in a 1v3. And a very, very hard 1v3. This bomb is going down at the B site. As is trying to spam through the floor. And that's how you know that this clutch is asking a lot. Vinny's holding onto the ramp. Azza is dead. And Furia managed too, but this is still an absolutely unreal first half from the 100 Thieves. Well, it's looking a little bit like an upper hit. It's a good morning in the Oceanic region right now, and it might just get better. Vinny corner reload. Grat with the entry, keeping up the kills, looking to really do something dirty here and shut down Fury before they even have a say in this map and series. Flashback in for Art, popping his teammates through the heaven. There's already one out for the Thieves, and here come Fury in numbers. Yeah, they throw that smoke that we saw the other day just outside of Hut, but right now it's not making a difference at all. Sure, a flash comes through, but Jacob, good to take down Serato. They're not able to get in here. They're not able to penetrate oh. this site. Jacob has just got their number. Look wow. at that. Three for Jacob. Four in the round. Rotations have arrived for Furia. One at wrap. That's Henny. Still Yuri up in main, having to care for these outside players. Oh, Azza's hey. even going heaven and 100 Thieves looking like they are gonna go into this A site. Now, Azza wraps ramp, Yuri is holding for the event rotate and this could be oh. catastrophic. There's JKS with the trade at least. And it's a 1v2 for Vinny. Heaven held by Azza. Vinny going up, but Azza's looking away. The Deagle on the ladder gets the kill. And JKS oh, just yeah. about able to respond. 100 Thieves put 15 on the board, map point. No soluble response there for Furia. Last round, potentially, of this first map. Yeah, it's been forcing for Furia all game long, all day long, and this one is no different. Yuri doesn't even see the player who's dropped in from Silo, but a flick back in time finds Jacob dead. That's something, a four on three for Furia. Azza makes it to be an Art never saw him. Oh, if Azza went back up, he'd have his back turned, but Art's now looking. Oh no, Azza with the backstab, and now B is open for the taking. Furia are gonna be a little bit worried about that. Okay, Serato spotted from heaven. Yuri's still behind the box. He's going to re-peak and drop him. Liaz doesn't want to lose the bomb here, but his teammate's gone, and so it's all up to him. One on three with a flash. He's going to try and cross. AK right at his feet. Yuri still behind the box. He's heard. Okay, Serato moves in, though, and he was just seen in heaven, so catching Liaz out in main, and Fury are finding a third. Pretty hard as is. Coming back when you've only got three rounds up against 15. Damn near impossible. Actually gonna get bested by Jacob, but this push Ooh. in through secret. Oh, oh, no. sides the JKS with the turnaround. Oh. How does he get that? Jacob, 1v2. And you know, even though the odds are stacked against him, he feels like it was doable, but turns his attention away from secret and Art just holds W and rushes him down. It's gonna be an A play. Oh, they're fast in. Behind the vent, Art causing damage Ooh. though, in case Serato with a convincing spray down. Liaz and Jacob on the receiving end. And in a last ditch attempt, Grat and Azza try and take Ramp away from Vinny. He's got to rotate from Henny as well. They get past Vinny, Ooh. and now they spot him. Grat's faction in the back has dealt with him. Henny swinging at Ramp, trying to pressure Grat, but that proves to be his demise. One player wrapping lobby, one moving in from hell. Grat is getting surrounded because they're beneath him as well. They are all around him here. This 1v3 going to prove to be tricky for Gratis Faction. As good a game as he's having, if he drops ramp, he's dead. 
And even if he doesn't, they'll come to him. Art with the flank, locking in seven for Furia. Maybe. Let's see, right? They try and go for a vent oh. dive, but with no smoke down, it's just certain death. Grat wrapped from main. Oh my. And oh no, the rounds are getting <laughs> more and more dominant for Furia. This was a 13-2 half. This was looking good for the 100 Thieves. And now you get a little bit worried, right? And that's even with the 100 Thieves coming in, winning the pistol. Of course, that's over on the B stream, should that interest you. Should it tickle your fancy? For us, we're just one round away from locking Nuke up. Art playing up super aggressive. Trying to do what Gratisfaction was doing so well in the first half. Runs out of ammo after taking down Liaz, and the Tech-9 can't get it done. Oh, that's the bomb. They've gifted a gun over as well. JKS with a potential backstab, and the Tech spammers back. He can drop down the vent. Yuri is there. Vinny has an auto-sniper in the same position. Nothing to lose for Furia. Why not? He's going to try and push ahead of the smoke. The flash is good. That's... Oh, oh he gets out. To only just 30 health. They can't get the bomb. It's a retrieval mission for the Thieves, and they're still looking at the lobby and ramp inquisitively, but there's nothing but B players for Furia. That being said, Az are on a big flank right now. Yeah, no one's even considering this. Az's flank could do a lot. JKS is holding lobby for a push that is never going to come. And so he, oh, oh no, Vinny now goes back with the auto, but 14 okay. HP, Azza beats him in the head to head. Okay. It's Hedy and Yuri, two on three, up against a partial buy from the 100 Thieves, trying to keep this game in check, trying to keep it ticking on. But the Thieves don't want to let that happen. They lose Azza. And so now JKS and Gratis Faction left in a two-on-two. -two. JKS up above the vent. And if he drops down, Yuri is playing this on a timing. He's checking behind him and having to watch the creep from Gratis Faction. JKS, if he's quick on the trigger, maybe Ooh. there's a chance. Grat deletes Henny. And that's got the attention of Yuri wow. drawn away. 100 Thieves. They close out Fury as map pick. They go 1-0 oh up in the grand and take a big lead in the grand final. We'll have to wait and see, but we're right on in, and the confidence, it just keeps flowing. Look at him go. Yeah, there was a triple B set up here as well, so K Serato is the only A player, and did he just get dinked by his teammate? Yep. Oh my goodness, well, luckily enough, K Serato and Henny have got this Ooh. back under control. K Serato with a great start, but Grat has wrapped through the library. Oh, he's giving away the aim of the game. Now they know he's here. Henny spots him as well. Jacob is fighting his own fight inside of the A site. They are separated. They are split up. Jacob and Grat would have been oceans apart, but now they are entire bomb sites apart. Grat wrapping in, but not able to deal with Henny. And it is all going to fall to Jacob in a 1v3. This was a good start for the Thieves. JKS opened the round up, but they wrapped along the one place that had someone from Furia occupying it. And now it all falls onto one man. The Aussies never rooted for Norway so hard in their life. There's the opener from Jacob, and he's looking to follow up, but Yuri just jiggling the angle, swings Ooh. Jacob in with another, and now just Vinny left to beat, but Ooh. Vinny is there. I feel like the tech rush, is sort of an homage, like our homage here to the 100 Thieves. Former Vox and Renegade's lineup. Now Liaz leading the charge. Almost has two of these Tech Nines. Wow. They can't get it done here in this round. Ace. And Vinny on for an ace. Art not going to let that happen. And they've only got Yuri left to get past, but he is down in the pit. A good position to hold on from. However, Grat's going to best him with the Tech Nine. Bomb now planted and a 2 on 4 for Furia. Everyone is low. However, just the numbers alone might be enough to entice a save, especially if an opening fight does not go Furia's way. I see that smoke come out from the pit, but Grat. Oh, timing's everything, oh. and Grat's faction straight up nails it on the opener. That's an AWP in his hands now as well, and Vinny is tucked in at the hay bales. Oh my goodness, he lets one go. Now deals with Grat. They're wondering, how is he even here? Oh. Trying to get into the site, but he's sandwiched by Azza in the pit, and with one point of health, Vinny shut down. It's a partial investment victory for the 100 Thieves. Yeah, Jacob Zorp did look so good in that series against Team 1 yesterday. Lots of multi-kills. Arts will not be up for the task, though. Do they check Vinny, a third player at this B-bomb site, peeking on the corner? And that's baiting Azar out, but he's still not falling for it. Backing out in the smoke. Vinny does win the battle out. There's a trade, but Liaz caught with a Glock in hand. Grat needs that kill, and he does open up B. Holding apps is JKS, and that is so grimy. 
three on one now. The retake is shut down. It's just Yuri. And the bomb's even still holding the flank. Jacob making sure they're not being wrapped. JKS calls it's clear, and Yuri moves in off the back of the plant. Can he stop it? Yes. With the spray, almost taking down Grap. Five health, the difference, and two rounds on the board. Oh, that's oh, a good start, though. And now the swing from Art does damage. In the blink of an eye, it's all left on to JKS. And Vinny just toying with him. Ooh. The deagle of Vinny proves to be too strong. And Furia with two rifles in the round. Now, they've been staying here. And that's something the Thieves could maybe use to their advantage moving forward. Art with a missed shot goes aggressive. Grat going to try and look for more with a flash in. The bombs drop. Vinny can try and hold on, but he's white as well. There's so much utility. And Azza with a double entry. B is theirs again, and that's a locked-in round. The 100 Thieves don't care that they're walking into bomb sites with stacks. They're just winning them every single time. One of the best that Australia has to offer is on the scene to try and hunt him down. And Yuri looking away at just the wrong timing. JKS removes that one attempt at the save. This stack is not something that 100 Thieves look ready for. And as they boot, as they boost a man over, it's Grap boosting Liaz. They're not ready for how many lie on the other side. Vinny once again, digging down two. Jacob gets the better of him, but this is where the triple stack can wreak havoc. They are not ready for art. Who swings from the sandbags. Azza, trying to get that trade, just decides to concede Banana for now. And that's going to trigger the rotation of Henny back towards this A site. Yuri has been waiting all round down in the pit. Molly and Nade for the pit. Do they want to clear Yuri or do they just want to entry it silent? That Molotov comes down. Yuri going to fight Azza. That's the bomb dropped. Even if he dies, he might have just done his job. JKS has time to plant with Henny's rotation coming in early. But we know Furia have been good at playing this together on the retakes, not giving up the one-on-ones. That's exactly what Henny's going for. But JKS isn't ready. And he's going to close out the round on his own. That got very scary. And now, while well, there were only two here, there is three. Caserato boosted up by R. Azza is going to check it. Gets the better of Caserato. And has got the ball rolling on the B play. But R coming in from CT with that orb. Blindsiding Azza, leaving it on gratisfaction and JKS. And with seven seconds left, there's certainly no time left in the round. So Grat's just saving this AK. A slow round for 100 Thieves. Towards B, albeit low HP. R going to re-aggress. He sees the bomb. Can't do anything about it, though. Vinny, nice tap from CT and R can't hit a shot. There were two there and they both come through with entries. One man left at the B-bomb site, but if you're the thieves, you're expecting it as well. Checking the corners and as it deals another blow, it's just Yuri in a one on three for the half. He has delivered like moments oh. like this before. That Molly forces Liaz out and he was hoping that was gonna give him an opener, but instead he takes matters into his own hands. Now both these players are low for the thieves. This is not an easy 2v1, but the flash is nice. good from Azza. And it's eight on the board for the thieves. They narrowly win out this first half from 0-4 down to 8-7. Well, now they're trying to do it back to Furia. Give them a taste of their own medicine. And that is <laughs> that's quick from Jacob. My goodness. And he gets deleted. And Jacob's in with another. Can he get any more? He does get dinked. And that's his signal to get out of there. But he loses Azza and JKS. So a three on three. Furia, do they want to commit to this B site? They know that Jacob's here, but they've bought him down low. They line up the utility. Smoke for CT. Smoke for Coffins. And so that's going to leave Jacob to have to fight alone. Flashed, blind as ever. Caserato deals with him. Liaz and Grat left in the retake. A two on three. Tries to stop the plant, but Yuri covering two in the pool and one in the banana. Instantly re-peaking. It's art, of course, as Furia oh. chase him down. That's how they tie this up. That's how they get their way oh. through the smoke. JKS dealing with Caserato. And in the meantime, Azza puts up one in the top of mid as well. So out of the gate, immediately, this is a five on three in favor of the 100 Thieves. Wow. Nice entry. Art going in on his own, the hero into this B site. And with the CT player dead, all the jump might have given him away there. Grat's going to be a little more ready on the angle. If he didn't jump, that would have been a very sneaky play. But trying to maneuver his movement and caught out by Grat is Henny going above the boxes. Oh, as he tries to go through CT, that could be his downfall. If he doesn't check, Az has got it dead to right. And so 100 Thieves, the rifles come out. They get their first on the board right away. 
B word for 100 Thieves, because right now, it's still only JKS here. And he's getting rushed down. Furia are not respecting that smoke. They go right through the molly, forcing JKS out into the open. And now he's got to make his last stand. Only good for one as K Serato gets the trade. Jacob on rotate, damage to Art, and doubling up in the process. Three on two retake for 100 Thieves. They wait for Liaz to join them. Henny set up in the site, cross firing one another. Oh, the molly. Oh, and the flash. What great utility Easy. for 100 Thieves as well. Furia used that Molotov at the uh, end of the first half as well to even force Liaz out. But this time, in, he's going to get flashed for a fight. Grat lining it up. That's a great flash. Yuri's so blinded. His team bail backwards as they can't see either. There is a trade in to B, but that CT smoke's fading. Oh, no. Grat bails them out. Saves Liaz's life. And it leaves it on Henny. Now, they've got no utility to help them. That means they need to win these gunfights. And Henny waiting patiently at the ruins, trying to steal the round away. There's the peek from Liaz. It gives over the 1v1. Grat tapping the bomb, hoping that baits the peek, but there's so little time left. And even though he gets the kill, nope. there is not enough time left. It's 12 on the board for Furia. Henny with a 1v2 to get them there. Furia committing, and this time the only difference is this is faster, and Furia is slower. Liaz might have the backstab while they're lining up nades, but as I say that, here they go. Yeah, this is it. This is what the 100 Thieves need to pull off right here. Oh, oh. So far, so well. Two D. Oh. Finally, the flank comes alive. Yuri with two and Grat with the final. There you have it. 100 Thieves put a round up on the board that they so desperately needed. Patching the wound is gratification with a deep play down middle, trying to flank B once more from a faster route. JKS alone ahead of the smoke. Grab with nades out. He's going to finally pull his gun out in time as he spots Vinny, but traded by Yuri opens up a path back to A. That's where Yuri will not consider. He walks into JKS, who doubles down in the site. The sole hold inside of B and JKS with everyone there. And look at the one gun of Furia. It's able to get an opener, but everyone's scampering for that gun. Not ready for Azor on long, not ready for Jacob on a fast rotate. And now here it is, the bread and butter, the last two rounds of regulation. And Case Serato wants to steal them right back. Entry up B. JKS gone. He's been so stellar holding this site down. The flank onto Furia, even though they've been expecting it in recent times. But right now, a perfect call to go back towards B. They read into the AWP being alone in Banana. And while we've had these fast mid and old flanks into Banana, 100 Thieves could do it the other way around. They could do the reverse, coming down B to chase these eight players. That bomb's still mid, but they're wrapping B. Furia in the CT spawn right now. Grat still takes the advantage. He's caught chasing back into the site. Vinny with the opener, and it might just end here and now. Double entry, Vinny with a third, and it is falling apart for the Thieves. Oh. They're not ready for the deep positions, and JKS, the one man off of that B bomb site, has got to do it all. Yeah, it would have to have been something spectacular, and that's not the case. Vinny planning the last op shot of the map. We're going to see Inferno go the way of Furia. And us going to a break. We'll come back and break it all down for you here at the Grand Final. Moving up ramp, he is already behind the sandbags. He is in a CT position, and they're not even considering yeah. it. JKS striked off the tally right away. And as they're now spotted in CT as well, not able to get anything done. That bomb goes down. Ooh. Gratisfaction gives over a four on four, and the retake is afoot. Ooh, elevator smoke's a bit dodgy. It actually gives uh, the CTs a way out. They're going to boost up on the box as well. Yuri's still trapped. Jacob can't see him, though, just yet. Smoke is a while before it will fade. However, the thieves cannot afford to waste time or wait. Flashes for Grat. Going in now so the CTs can move. He's got the kit too, and oh, it's overwhelming odds, but still the Glocks come out on top. Uh, I like that from Furia. They don't just back up and, and give the site away. Oh my, they're even chasing for knives. They don't just give 100 Thieves uh, the, the site to play retakes to get on that bomb and to smoke it off. They actually stay in the site. They stay on shore. The knives won't go through, but Valiant attempt nonetheless. Yeah, and it's come so fast into this B site, right, that 100 Thieves aren't really ready for it. They're going to be left in a retake right away, a 5v5 one at that. Yuri leading the charge in with the pre-fire onto Liaz and the follow-up to Gratisfaction as well. Virgo looking to get off to a dominant start for Furia. It's only Jacob and Azza left standing, and Yuri delivering everything in this round. There's the response from Azza, but it's only one, and now they know Jacob is here in mid as well.
Escape for free. Here's that flash bouncing into the short side. Doesn't get Azza though. He's still up in the sight with a spray, with a double. And Jacob helps him out with that as well. They know where Caserato is being loud, running up. But Vinny walking through the short smoke. Caserato can keep them or keep the attention on him, maybe. Vinny dropping that close sight smoke to block off CT. Does still leave an elevator angle open. And there's so many bodies here. There we go. JKS and Azza get it swept under the rug. 100 Thieves find their first round. And he can confirm that no one is snuck up. That's because he's a mid to be. Oh, that's here. Meaty nade thrown by Azza. And he's quick to reroute over towards his B site from CT. is only good for one. And they lose Liaz in B right away. Grat has at least kept the numbers even. A three on three. Art going back to hold this flank. And there are two players coming in from it, but Art ahead of the curve. Even going back for JKS. Oh. And that proves to be one fight too many. Flash throwing. JKS, there's another man here. And Yuri gets the better of him. Grat's faction left in a 1v2. Grat has been the guy to keep an eye on. The guy who's made all the difference here. And Vinny hidden up on the boost. Grat spamming it, missing oh. his shot. And now in the sight, smoke on the bomb, taps it. That's gonna bait peaks. They could, they do think he's sticking it. They spam, knives out for Vinny as well, back in the sight, grab with the first. Oh, and the follow-up as well. Okay. No kit though. So the round doesn't go his way. He gets oh. all the kills. He makes the 1v2 happen, but time is Grad's ultimate enemy. And that couldn't be like a more fitting metaphor here as seven now on the board for Furia. Jacob's even watching it from the boost in A. So scared that a player could have snuck through with the smokes down and flanked that side. That's given Furia an open path to A, but into the orb they go. Jacob looking at Azza, but it's really the short side he should care about. Smoke is down, Nate follows. Jacob pushed off, and here comes Henny in with a plan. Oh, his teammate's dead in the smoke. 28 seconds. Henny needs a one on three here. He doesn't even know they're all on the site either. Jacob should nail this shot straight away, but Henny pre-aim and oh, almost, but not quite. It's Jacob with a double off the AWP. Fury are a man up with one AK. Here's the boost. They're using it in a post part. This is crazy. Yuri's got to hit the hop and oh, he's messed it up. He's got to go back for more. You've got to bounce over your teammate's head. It's not an easy one, uh, although it looks like it. Very hard. Either way, he's there for the <laughs> shutdown. No boost needed. Yuri with a double. Oh, he's just shut them all out of the round. Three, Three flash assists from Caserato, but blind or not, Yuri has got them. That is just brutal. He's like, yeah, okay, fine. Can't get the boost up. I'll just go kill instead. And that's exactly what Furia do. Hounding down JKS in CT. And another broken buy for the 100 Thieves. That was a force for Fury. That was their money finally coming to a close. And they just won't accept it. They won't let it happen. They buy up with pistols and one AK and they get it done. Flash into mid. Henny trying to find this kill. There's four players here. As a isolated case, Serato with a spray. Good for one. And it's trading well for Fury. Not allowing Lias to get this gun. They're still holding on. And he's going to try and re-aggress, but likely to his death at this point. That is brutal. In the meantime, Art's gotten out A. He can call that this site is clear. And they're just going to keep holding mid for Liaz. They lock in the round on the back of it. And this is incredibly dominant for Furia, right? A real good chance at it as well. Five on three. Furia, maybe not feeling the pressure yet. And even less so now that they win that fight onto Grab. But it's immediately counteracted thanks to Liaz. Okay, Serato and Henny. Left in a two on four, they run down the ramp, but they don't look to commit to that rotate. Instead, it's a bit of misinformation given to the 100 Thieves. Oh, Jacob no. aggressing at ramp as well. He's going to solidify, like, they're not ramp, but that's because they're up at the top of it. Now, this does, it's a double-edged sword, right? He got the wrong information, which forced players out of the site, but also Furia don't know he's here. And so Jacob closes the round out for 100 Thieves. It's four to 11 at the end of the first half of play. An absolutely bl an absolute blinder of a half from Furia. 12 denied. We'd love to get you activated on social media using hashtag IEM. Tell us who's going to win this one at the end of the day because right now it's a full on B hit from Whoa. 100 Thieves. Yuri playing up close, Caserato to support, and this B hit has been a travesty for the 100 Thieves. What a reach. Correct. Five players in the B bomb site, three initially, but two on the quickest rotations around. 
and backed Ooh, away. Oh, look at our. He is waiting for the perfect time to strike. Let's them all run by. And now emerging, but as a back on it, does deal with the man hidden in the smoke. Vinny there to try and put all the worries to rest. That Molly could burn Vinny out, and it certainly might. He's brought down by it, but gets out of there just in time. Two of these players low for Furia. Hey, Serato is the man who represents a hell of a lot of danger right now. Still sat pretty with 100 HP and utility to offer up. He smokes off the ramp. Jacob been tucked here all round, has dealt with Caserato and the follow up and oh, out of ammo, the Deagle betrays him. Kit retrieved and for Vinny, I think there's just enough time left on this defuse. It's 13 for Furia, a damn good try from Jacob, but running out of ammo on the MP9. Not ideal, but here's the peak. Finds one, but he knows he's trapped. Oh. Looks for two. Somehow, oh. some way, he's getting it done. Can't lock in that last one, JKS, but he's done more than enough. One on four for Justin Savage. And they're rushing him. They're giving him no room to grab the orb. No Damn. space in this place. And where's the orb gone? Yuri wonders. Probably off the map, if I had to guess. But yeah, not retrievable at the very least. Not a worry either. 15 rounds to Furia and a measly four for the Thieves. That Molly is going to trap Caserato. He can't swing on his right. Smoke's fatal in A. Henny has that info. Caserato smokes the Molotov and tries to stall. Oh, he's fully blind, but no one's looking. Where do they think this smoke came from? Jacob gets deep, but Vinny deals with him. And there's three in B to put a stop to the play. Grat, good for a double. Him and Liaz oh. left alive, and they get it down to a two on two, trying to salvage anything from this map of Vertigo. Grat running with the bomb on his back into this A site. Liaz not able to deny Vinny's rotating through CT. He's already here. And Liaz walks into the crosshair, backs up into it. Grat's faction left in a 1v2. He has been the guy to keep an eye on for 100 Ds, but this is asking a lot of him. 22 points of health. Vinny and Caserato still to find, and that oh. there is this map drawing to a close. Furia, they take it dominantly. 16 to 4 on their map pick of Vertigo. Mirage coming up right around the corner. One potentially final map here remains, Mirage. And if we need to, we're gonna be jumping into train. Ooh. Not before all the action starts out here on this A bomb site. And it's gonna be a T-sided start for the 100 Thieves who are getting plucked apart by the USP of Vinny oh. currently. He goes for another. Can the man be stopped? Two in the round, looks for that third. Doesn't find it, but Henny's gonna pick up where he left off. 1-0 for Furia. Can be such a nuisance. They hear the AWP scoping. And I think they maybe realize that there's a man down lower. Art moving up, and they seem very, very cautious about this position. Whoa. They might just catch him. Indeed, they do. A four on four. Jacob up through Con. And this B play is now off the cards. They lost Grat trying to move through the apartments. As is in the ladder room. Caserato is going aggressive, and he comes to regret that decision. He gets his head taken off by JKS. A man advantage for 100 Thieves. Oh, Jacob extends it even further. Now the trade comes in from Vinny. As a, oh, oh, gets stabbed. Henny with the AWP in the B site. A 1v2 and both the players are here. Oh. <laughs> Leah's there to hold the fort. And 100 Thieves, they will find their first round here in round number four. 100 Thieves speed it up just that little bit on this A split. Smoke down for Art. He can't see them climb into Connected just yet. And they could even jump into window. Jacob is one. As with the entry, Art is gone from the short side. And JKS swings out Palace, but he doesn't know about Vinny, who, who is still standing. All that's standing in this round for Furia. This kill could be something, but Liaz won't let it happen as he runs through the smoke. Two for the Thieves. It's Henny's palace position that could do a lot of damage here now. Like, 100 Thieves are still going to be worried about it because they never came from Ramp or Palace. Oh, oh, and it's all falling apart, right? They at least get the bomb down, but Liaz dies in the process. That's a sacrifice that's going to have to be worth it here for the Thieves. Grat. Oh, man. In the window, JKS waiting down in connector and still utility available to Furia. They can block off these angles, nice. and that is the perfect one to have blocked off with this smoke. Neither JKS nor Grat's faction can see it or stop it. And so the stick is found for Furia. Grat gets away with the AWP at least. And a bomb plant injects 100 Ds with even more money. 
He starts with the AWP though. One of the many that we're going to see in this map for Furia. Here it goes. There's one. It drops right back as the util comes in. Another op shot from Henny. And a leg there. Another for Keserato. Will he finish it out? Not possible, actually. Graf takes him out. That's going to be a bomb plant for Catwalk. Oh, getting swung right on. Art in the right place at the right time. And certainly playing dance. Oh. I don't know how he stays alive and takes down JKS, but he does nonetheless. Oh, it's going to happen again. Yuri <laughs> runs through the Molotov, takes 80 damage, and blindsides Jacob. Now, looking just how close this is, Henny should fire the first shot of this skirmish, of this engagement. It may just be Art towards Connector. Now, they both pull out grenades at the same time, and Art hears it. That could be all she wrote. Yeah. He's got to bend his bullets a little bit there, but as it goes down, Henny with one of his own, and this A take is falling apart at the seams. Just like that. Five alive for Furia. They win the round. They go up to six, and... Furia are looking deadly. They want another championship. They want that invite uh, to land at the end of the year. A fast A play looking to come through. And even though Henny gets traded, it's once again this man under Palace putting up the fight, putting them in body bags. Yuri with a double, leaves it on Azza all alone. That's it. That is... Uh... Molly doesn't even bounce. And it doesn't help that Hunter Thieves Ooh. ran through the initial Molly. Now I say that, Azza. Putting up a little bit of a fight there towards the end, all in vain as Yuri ends that. And he does it with a deagle. Two here, boost up for the orb. Okay, Serato could line up kills here. There's Ooh. one blinded out, though. He has no idea what's happening. Smoke on the site to buy him a bit of room. Lee has great kill. Okay, Serato can't trade. He's been getting overwhelmed after one with the AWP on this B site for a change, but the fast pace for 100 Thieves wouldn't let them around. Bomb planted, and Art is very deep indeed. Double ops right now. One's going to be underneath the arch, one deep cat. That's Henny. And the more they can pick apart here before their teammates arrive, the better. JKS very low already. Oh, my. And that's the end of that. Azza stuck in at the van. And he might just be locked in as well. I haven't thought about clearing it now. He could stop a defuse right here, right now. He's going to play the trigger discipline, and that is the appropriate play. He's waiting. Oh, my God. He's waiting. Oh, he gets them off. Now just needs to stay alive. And sadly, they chase him down right away after. A damn good try from Azza. That's about all you could do, right? Yeah. Like, no, that is he... your only play. They're just tipping the scales that much further now. Ooh. Ah, has just missed this timing onto Azza, who is now deep in jungle. This is something that Furia are not ready for at all. Azza could do so much. There's one, but ah, oh, with the quick 180. <laughs> Azza is gone. He had his chances. They get taken away from him. It all falls onto JKS, who has nailed the first, but down to 6 HP in the process. The bomb dropped in mid as well, and Fury are playing around it. They're playing around the bomb. Able to watch the window from here as well. They are paranoid as to where JKS could have gotten to, but will he check lower mid? The answer is no. And it's 11 on the board for Fury, a close to once again putting up a scoreline like they did on Vertigo. Crack gonna run through the molly, not respecting it. Fury and never do. Why should he? However, not enough to open up the round. And now this AWP on Henny. We've seen it do damage from triple time and time again. They deal with Yuri down in the sandwich, but Ooh. this is where Henny looks to come alive. It's only one to his name. They oh, jump my. down through the stairs, out of ammo is art, and Az is gonna rise to the occasion, Ooh. but in comes K Serato, dropping that bomb, leaving it all on JKS again, trying to salvage a four round half is JKS for the 100 Thieves. A fighting chance in the 1v1. And he's looking to take it to oh, Serato. He's looking to get aggressive and play the market. It's an apps plan. And Serato, none the wiser, sidelined by JKS. It's still a huge half for Furia to accelerate this play into A. And that's where we need to look to Azza to deliver oh. something beautiful. This USP back in CT, defying the odds, puts up a double. Azza was here all alone, and he's put up a great hold, leaving 100 Thieves in a five on three. But the bomb is going back through T-Spawn. Oh, well then. They cleared out the B site. However, JKS is here to put a stop to that madness. Oh, no. Not today, Furia. They're not worming their way around this pistol round. They've got to do it old school. Grat challenging in the top of mid. Art trying to hound him down. But Grat lives to tell the tale. You hear that Grat-a-tat-tat -tat of the unsilenced pistol, and 
think down low at least, but looking for more in the connector. Jacob steals it, and oh, now at a big old clutch. This has not gone the way of Fury. 20 seconds, and they are hounding him down. They know he, he's got window, as I was to put a bow on it, and he does. I like the idea for Fury getting Yuri into B. With these smokes in mid, how much further does he go? Because Fury were holding for it. Art is in B. Art is actually in the B site. And 100 Thieves, they don't look very ready for this. He's carved a path, and now the rest of the team are coming in behind him. There's the trade for Liaz. Grat arriving, but they're already pouring in. Liaz putting up a defense. Grat there to bail him out. And Vinny falling as well. That goes from a very, very bad situation to a, from 100 Thieves into a round win with four players surviving. And that would be right. Art finally making his presence known out of that ladder room. Now the two-pronged hit that is also through the B-Halls. It's Art that actually gets the frag. Azza sets up for a cross. Now just wait. He's got to stay alive while his teammates arrive, and that's simply not on the cards for him. Serato still in the halls with these two remaining players, 100 Thieves. They're going to walk right into his crosshair one by one. He's very low, and he falls eventually. Nice trade. Azza pushed the smoke before it bloomed, and so they saw him make his move, and... JKS, even though he trades Caserato in the apartments, is a done deal. It's a lost round. One on three, where really saving is the priority. If you look at the money of 100 Thieves, it's just him and Liaz. You can throw all this utility in, but yeah, it looks like this could just be a ruse. It's now Fury and move players into the B apartments, knowing that 100 Thieves might get a bit ahead of themselves Ooh. on the rotate, but Grat delivers with his AWP. And eventually that penny's gonna drop. Well, no one else is arriving. So 100 Thieves, they scatter. They start to move back into this B site. Art's coming out late through Palace, but nobody's here. And this bomb plant is coming in regardless. Over inside of B, the rotation's now arriving for 100 Thieves. And this round decides so much. The money is on the line for the Thieves. They need this victory. Art is a long way from home, but it's Henny to open up inside of this B site. Grap making noise in the market. In through the apartments is Azza. JKS at oh short, my. cut down. And you cannot have this round go against you if you are the 100 Thieves. Miss Spray from Azza, but he gets it back under control. It's left to Grat's faction. And this is where Art, who's been rapping through A this whole time, should have it locked in. There's so little time left. Grat's going to try and leave. Oh. His exit is locked down. 13 for Furia. They recover that round in spite of Grat's orping excellence in the A site. You have had this exact round play out, but in the inverse, right? With an A fake into B. Uh -oh. And this was never designed uh -oh. to be a fake. They catch Azza, and now we're back into even odds. K Serato has opened up the A site, and 100 Thieves are all here, knocking on the door, ready to deny this bomb. But K Serato out from the firebox. Good for one. Grads back in with a response. And it falls to Henny. This guy has given us some great rounds, but is this going to be one of them? Ooh. No, Jacob Damn. from lower See gets you. that locked in. Nine on the board for the 100 Thieves as they try and deny match, series, and championship points of Furia. Gratz on top of boost. That's an awkward angle to deal with. Oh, just jumps into middle and Grat can't find this shot. Fast out A as a response. They've got this advantage. They know JKS is trapped with the smoke on the molly. The Vinny can't win the jewel. The UMP comes out with one and Jacob doubles down on the spray. It is pandemonium in this A site and the bomb is dropped on ramp as well. R may be clearing out B, but 100 Thieves know not to expect anything. Yeah. Okay, no, 100 Thieves, they're ready for this. They're here. This Ooh. is what they prepared for. For once, it's gone according to plan. Now they just need to hit their shots. 10 seconds left as the bomb tries to get out, but Art is dropped, and it's Caserato with 4 HP, not able to survive the cross. 100 Thieves, double digits. Here's where things start to develop. A smoke on catwalk could give a veil enough for them to cross. Instead, Art peeks from underneath and finds the kill, then jumps right into window. Oh. This is where the A site becomes a snare, becomes a trap. Yeah, JKS as well, found what? through the smoke. That's a disaster. Heady with the spray, catches it, never even sees the man. Gratisfaction in Liaz. Perfect. Oh dear, 15 about to appear for Furia, leaving them one away from taking this series, taking the title, unless Grat and Liaz can put a stop to it. And already they're looking hesitant. Is this a round where you give over 15? The money just isn't there, right? So they try and play it by the numbers. But the boys, their lifeline running out here. 15, one round is all Furia need for back-to-back -back titles.
Ooh. Oh! Doesn't even matter. It's all from the underpass. Jacob, silent but deadly. Does fall and a trade comes through. Grat's able to find another one with his AWP. This is set us up in a three on four, Harry. Utility into this A site, flooding through. This is where the rotates come in. A man up or 100 Ds, but they still need to hold on to this A site. And Furia are not going to go easy on them. JKS hiding, waiting for his teammates to arrive. Everyone is CT side apart from Grat. They rush the site. They try to deny the bomb oh! one, but it's a disaster. Furia, take it. Yes, they do. This Brazilian organization starting back in 2017. It's emerged from the shadows and yet again put a pin in the storyboard that is Brazilian Counter-Strike. They have picked up the slack. They've done it all where MIBR fell off. They've weathered the storms of 2020 and have came through dripping in success in these online times. With this win, they ensure their qualification for the Intel Extreme Masters Global Challenge in December. Land is on the horizon. One team everyone can agree are the hottest of the hot to watch. It's your champions of the Intel Extreme Masters New York 2020 Online Americas. It's Furia.